Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I thought I would make a quick video on the settings that I'm using for my uh, snow performance methanol injection kit for my uh, <clears throat> my Super Duty diesel. Um, so this is their stage 2.5 or 3.0, whatever they call it. Um, basically you just need the one that looks like this and, and is meant for diesels because it's gonna have, um, it's gonna look, it's gonna have a pyrometer that looks at EGTs. Um, obviously you can run a methanol kit on your diesel without looking at EGTs. Um, but for towing, if you want to use tow mode, you will absolutely have to have that, uh, the, the pyrometer in the, uh, the manifold because the, it uses basically boost and, um, your exhaust gas temperatures to determine how much methanol it should spray. Um, in mile per gallon, gallon slash performance mode, it just looks at, uh, boost pressure, um, typically because your EGTs aren't anything crazy um, when you're driving around unloaded. Uh, but obviously when towing, it's a little bit different. So I wanted to do this when uh, I was towing last, but I was pulling about 10,000 pounds. And not that that's crazy weight, um, but it, it definitely had more tongue weight than I appreciated. So I was getting shoved around a little bit more than I wanted to. So didn't feel comfortable trying to film and drive at the same time. Uh, so... I'll go over some of my settings. Um, let's see here. I think I'm currently in uh, perf performance mode because I'm not hooked to a trailer. Yeah, miles per gallon. So hit that. And now we're in tow mode. So we can look at the settings. So the boost range, that's the easiest thing to set up. There's three. There's low, medium, and high. Uh, essentially high is for anybody running 25 pounds of boost or more. Uh, medium is for 18 to 25 um, and then low is for anybody running less than 18. So what it does is that essentially calibrates or tells the, the controller uh, <clears throat> what your max boost is, so what the range it should expect. So obviously uh, I wasn't 100% sure on those settings, so I played around with it, set mine to low to see what it would do, um, and it would basically spray nonstop because it thought when I was pulling on a flat level grade, you know, let's say 10 pounds of boost, it thought that was like, I was over boosting. So obviously it's designed for real low boost, well, not over boosting, I, I over exaggerate, but uh, it basically thought that's a lot of boost. Um, we should spray some methanol and it just sprayed nonstop and just wasting it. So <clears throat> this one's the easiest is black and white, cut and dry. If you know your boost pressure, set this one accordingly. Um, the one that's a little bit uh, subjective is your injector gain. Um, so Snow recommends setting it to 100% um, to start. And if you get quench, start dropping it down 5% at a time until the quench goes away. Um, I did that um, at the beginning of this four-day pull across the country that was horrible. And I was burning through methanol real fast, set to 100 also keep in mind, I have bigger injectors or bigger nozzles than what comes in the kit. The kit comes with a total of uh, 1,000 milliliters per minute. I'm running just under 1,300 milliliters. So not a massive difference, but definitely more. Um, I was also making the mistake of trying to let the truck decide what gear to be in. So I was leaving it in overdrive uh, while going up hills. And EGTs were starting to get really high. And of course, when the EGTs are going up, it's just pouring methanol into the motor. So obviously stop doing that. And I would essentially, when a hill was coming, I'd lock out overdrive. So fifth gear was the highest it could go into. Um, but I also turned the uh, injector gain way down, which you can see is set to 50. Um, we'll probably cycle back. Um, so basically the reason I run 50 is, uh, like I said, from the last tow, uh, roughly 10,000 pounds pulling across the country. Um, I have a 200 horsepower tune. This is a, a 6.7 liter uh, F250 2015 um, with a you know 200 horsepower tune. That's the reason it wasn't downshifting on its own is because it had the power to pull uphill and overdrive. Obviously not best for the engine or the transmission, but it had the power to do it. And that's why I didn't want to downshift. So uh, I got to the point where I was just locking out overdrive when I saw a hill coming or yeah. I'd start the hill, and as soon as I saw EGTs start to pass, uh, I think it was 1,100 degrees, that's when I'd lock it out. 
Um, and as soon as I did that, you'd see EG cheese drop down to 950 almost immediately, which is plenty low. I mean, even the 1000 or the 1100 was low, but the 950 is obviously nicer. And being in fifth gear, uh, the truck could fly uphill at 80 miles an hour like it was, wasn't even pulling a load. So because I only had it set to 50%, and it, I saw no reason to add more. My EGTs were good. Um, you know, it was pulling, you know, like a freight train. I had no reason to, to pump it up. Um, I was finding that uh, I was going through almost no methanol at all uh, to the tune of maybe a gallon uh, every... 150 200 miles which is basically nothing uh snow says if you have your settings right they estimate you should only be able to go about 75 miles on a gallon of methanol um obviously i could add more even at 100 percent, i didn't have any quench so i know i can turn it up and spray more but like i said i had the power without setting the uh the injector gain to 100 percent um, I had the EGTs low enough that I didn't have to give it any more. I saw no reason to turn it higher. Obviously, every truck's going to be different. The engine that you have, the turbos you have, whether you have one, two, three, the size of your nozzles, what performance tune uh, or how much horsepower the tune you have. Um, you know, 50, you know, a lot of people tow on a 40 horsepower tune. I'm towing on 200 horsepower tune. Um, you know, if you have a built motor, for all I know, you're you know, pulling, you have a thousand horsepower and you're pulling on that tune. Um, it really just depends on, on what your setup is, is, you know, likes and doesn't like. So that's how you really have to play with the injector gain. Um, personally, I would do the opposite of what Snow recommends. I would probably set it to 50 and add uh, methanol as needed until you hit quench, then back it off a little bit. Um, if you don't need to keep adding more, why waste methanol? Um, Thanks to the current political state, methanol isn't exactly cheap. Um, the last time I bought it, because I was only, I only buy it at five gallons at a time, I think it was like eleven dollars a gallon, which is crazy. Um, so even when you mix that with a couple of gallons of distilled water, which brings it around thirteen dollars for three gallons, it's still expensive when you do the math. Uh, so it's up to you how much methanol you really want to go through. But when I'm seeing EGTs of 950 degrees, uh, while pulling 10,000 pounds, which is the heaviest I'm ever going to tow. Um, I don't see myself ever towing more than that. So in my particular situation, I don't see myself ever turning up that, uh, injector gain any more than I'm already at just because it's not needed. Now in your application, if you need it, obviously use it. So that's just my suggestion for setting up your uh, your methanol injection kit for your you know for towing purposes. I have another video if you want to click on that uh, somewhere in my library of videos where I talk about the settings that I use uh, for performance mode. Uh, but basically, long story short, uh, the first nozzle is on a progressive ramp from 10 psi to 24 psi, and then at 24 psi, the second nozzle opens up because um, it's got a solenoid that controls the second nozzle. Uh, and that's how I run my performance settings. Again, I, the, the other video is a little bit older, so the, the numbers aren't the same as what I'm telling you now, uh, but it goes into a little more detail. But anyways, this was a video on tow settings. Um, if you have any questions, obviously just you know put a, put a question down there at the bottom and I'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you. So hope this video was informative and I will see you guys for the next one.